But you can never walk alone on your way to being free. Where are you? Good morning from Berlin. We are here today. It is like 9:45 a.m. For the next 24 hours, we are going to have to take advantage of this beautiful city that I, as a German, have never been to. But first, it's breakfast time, and breakfast is incredibly important in Germany. Basically, it's a marathon. Whoever gets up and finishes first loses. <laughs> And now, we're going to go out and explore the city, so let's go. Where are you? Yeah. But you can never walk alone on your way to being free. Where are you? Where are you? Yeah. But you can never walk alone on your way to being free. Photos and the Ross runs away from me. Sightseeing in German is Stadt Trump Party. Collectively, this is the longest we've gone without eating. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna faint. <laughs> so we're actually yeah, just stocked up near the ice. <laughs> we're actually just walking around. That's sorry, I just punched me in the head. Itch. We're just walking around, um, exploring Berlin and all the landmarks that are to see. And yeah, we haven't stopped to eat yet, which is just mm. unheard of for us. Cafe looks nice. There's a nice cafe. Oh. Oh. Maybe after. Green, oh, green. green. We have to go. Hey, look, it looks like it's riding on the, the ceiling. <laughs> go to a bakery in Germany and eat basically anything but definitely definitely or everything or everything any and everything <laughs> but definitely definitely a cheese pretzel now, they didn't have the cheese pretzels where I went but it's the end of the day so they didn't have any left 
but they basically have the same dough of the cheese in any shape and form, so yummy. Up my face. We just got to the Topography of Terror Museum. Um, Pretty sure I won't be filming anything inside, so I will probably give a reflection of this later. We actually spent quite a lot of time in there. Um, it kind of breaks down with pictures and excerpts, quotes, and um, kind of the story behind everything the rise and fall of Hitler and the Nazi regime, and it was. I feel like it's something that you have to do if you're in Berlin. It's, there's so much history in this city and it's everywhere. You know, you have pieces of the wall, you have memorials, you have Checkpoint Charlie, you just, everything in this city is history. It's living, breathing history and it's just absolutely incredible to see and it's so humbling and bottom line, just heartbreaking. I think that's, the only word that I can really use to describe. We actually spent only seven euros 50 each um, and a whole day of going around Berlin and seeing all the landmarks because we just took public transport and um, we didn't actually pay admission to go to any of the places. Uh, the museum was free. It was an exhibit um, that's there. And yeah, so that was a really cool thing to be able to do and spend very little money, but still get to feel like you're right in the middle of everything. You're taking in the culture, the history, everything. How's this face? <laughs> we went out for a proper German meal. Now, the meal that we went for, I actually ended up picking a restaurant that was more of the southern German Bavarian cuisine because that's where I'm from so although it wasn't very northern German I wanted to give Ross the whole Germany experience so we went and had some of the foods that I grew up with and that was very very delicious and I love it and mm, it's just my comfort food. Uh, so I think overall we had a fantastic day here and now <laughs> it's I don't know, like 10 o'clock. It's 9.45 probably, actually. Yeah. It is 9.45 on the dot, so it has been 24 hours, not 24, 12. <laughs> so it has been 12 hours in Berlin all day, and that's what we did. So there you go, that's what you can do in 12 hours if you're visiting Berlin. Obviously, more time would be much better, but this is just kind of a long layover for us because tomorrow morning, very, very, very early, and you guys know I'm a big fan of getting up early, um, we are heading to the airport to catch a flight to go to Marrakesh, which I'm so excited about because I have never been to Africa, so this will be my first time, a whole new continent, I'm super excited. If you haven't yet, stamp that subscribe button so you can join us, and until next time, be good to one another, be good to our planet, and keep adventuring. Yeah. Books. <laughs>